A group of Sarasota students tries to hack into the school's computer system. Obviously, this is a punishable offense, but the Sarasota schools choose to handle the situation a bit differently than you might expect. Here to explain is Joe Binswanger. He is the Director of Information Technology for Sarasota Schools. Welcome. Thank you. Let's back up a little bit. What was this group of kids kind of trying to accomplish when they started messing with computers? Well, we've actually had a variety of groups of kids and individual students over the last 18 months um, or greater that have just tried different things more out of curiosity than any type of malicious intent, um, attempting to become local administrators on, compu on the computer themselves or other Examples I could give you, though I won't, because I don't want to give anybody any. <laughs> right. No, I understand. <laughs> no so more problem. You were kind right. of explaining in layman's terms to me, because I needed it very right. simplified, that you kind of have various levels of protection from the IT point of view, and when somebody starts messing places they mm -hmm. shouldn't go, it triggers an alarm to you. Yeah. Right. One of the ways we explain it is, if you think of it, it's like multiple fences. Mm -hmm. And as one student or any individual attempts to jump one of the fences, alarms start to go off, and that's when we quietly begin to examine what are they doing and um, begin to contain them. In the examples with the students, um, we'd walk into classrooms or the media center or wherever and uh, begin to ask them, what are you doing? And uh, for some students, there is genuine malicious intent in mm -hmm. what they've tried uh -huh. to do, and, and those we treat differently. Mm -hmm. But this particular group of students, it was more curiosity. It, you know, from a, a technology point of view, you're not going to go to your home and attempt to hack, if you will, into right. your home network mm -hmm. because you know the security uh -huh. measures that are in place. Right. So as they investigate and, and are curious, hey, can I actually do this? <coughs> what better place to try it than and the school, absolutely. right? I mean, but I love the way you handled it. So once you decided there was no malicious intent, the school and you found a way to kind of capitalize on both their curiosity and their knowledge. Because obviously these are bright kids. That was right. my thought, because many companies actually hire professionals to hack their system. <laughs> and, no, they do, to no, find, to find yeah. holes. That's how, you know, they, they hire a company and they do some research trying to figure out where the holes are. Right, so what are you doing with these yeah. kids now? Well, so um, what was really important to us is we had to look at what's our core business. What are we as Sarasota County Schools about? And we're about teaching and learning for every student every day and helping them to become college and career ready, mm -hmm. right? And, and so for these students, what college career readiness are they interested in? Technology. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we actually had developed a program with the executive internship program at Riverview High School that mm -hmm. has, where we actually had a student um, three years ago come in and spend half the year with us in the afternoons. Um, we uh, modified that program a little bit, and we have this group of students who prefer to kind of remain in the shadows, if you will, mm -hmm. in terms of notori notoriety um, that says, um, come in, we're going to teach you about virtualization, we're going to teach you about server infrastructure, we're going to teach you about all these things. Uh, just um, a few weeks ago, we actually had the opportunity to take them to our data center. So to them, that's like, I know last week you all went to Disney World, right? Yes, that's, <laughs> their, them, that's their that Disney That is World. their, like, the Disney World. The greatest toys in the world. Yes, yeah. they were just, they were taking selfies. And, <laughs> that's I mean, amazing. It was, it was did awesome Did anybody want them. the kids punished? I'm glad you didn't punish them. In this case, you're harnessing their knowledge. But did anybody want to see them get in trouble? So when we say they weren't punished, they did have consequences at mm -hmm. their school. So I, I want to be clear on that. But there's a difference between consequences at your school and um, having the hammer dropped on you, yeah. if you will. Being mm -hmm. expelled from school. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. And, and, and so um, for some students, they did have some in-school suspension or some mm -hmm. volunteer mm -hmm. hours or something like that. But re what's really come from this is a really um, positive story about how students are getting to harness the things that they're really interested mm -hmm. in Absolutely. in a positive way. For um, one student in particular, he's always been a B or C student um, mm -hmm. through his entire academic career. He's a junior this year. Last year, um, for second semester, he got straight A's for the first time. Wow. And that was because his parents said to him, for you to continue to be involved in this, you have to get good grades. And he was, so it was so the motivator he needed. Yeah. So have the parents been happy about the way this has been handled? They've been thrilled because for the parents, now their kids who are interested in something that they have no real knowledge about are able to be with people that know what they're talking mm -hmm. about and help put them on the right path. That's why we call it the White Hat Hackers Club, 
because if you know anything about it, there's the black hats and the white hats go back to the old westerns. You know, oh, okay. you know on the old westerns who the good guys and the bad yeah. guys were from the, the hats These are the they good wore. guy hackers. We, well, that's our goal. I love the way you've handled that. Yeah, I mean, you, so good. you take yes. experience and knowledge and funnel it into a positive manner. So that's I a, love that. It's a great school story. So big thanks to the Sarasota schools, certainly for their candidness yes. and also creativity with all of our students. Coming up next, we're going to talk about breast health with Dr. Denny.